Hello, this is Ashton with Remax. So you want to buy a condo. That's great. There are 12 things I want you to know before you proceed. Number one, the size of the condos and the bedrooms. Don't think all the condos offering you the same size of the bedrooms. Some of them are bigger, some of them are small. So you have to go to every single condo building to make sure you choose the right building. Also, the floor is important. Usually higher you go, more you have to pay. But make sure you choose a condo unit that offers you a nicer view outside rather than a, lowest, uh, a lower floor. Now, number two is do you get a garage or parking spot or a locker with this condo? Some of the condos offer you that, some they don't. Now, how is it important for you to get a garage with your condo? That's your decision. Most of the time, downtown uh, condos, it's a good idea to have a garage because uh, people, they have car and they, is, uh, they have to buy the condo with a garage. So you have a, a, a little bit of more plus when you want to sell your home, your condo. <coughs> also, number three is what kind of amenity comes with your condo? <coughs> Some of the condos offer you swimming pool. Some of them would offer you a meeting room, a party room or a game room. So it's good to know what comes with your condo when you want to buy it. Also, I suggest you to go into a condo in different hours, day, evening, night, weekends, to see how busy is the condo, how is the maintenance done in the condo. You get to talk to different people. Also, I highly, highly recommend you to talk to any condo owner that you come across. Get them engaged with conversation, ask them, Frankly, what is the situation of the condo? If they are happy with it, they have any complaints, and you will be surprised what, why you, you hear from them. Number six, maintenance fee. Not all the condos have the same maintenance fee. Maintenance fee is there to uh, be used for the expenses of the condo, such as uh, paying for repairs, <coughs> repair people, maintenance uh, generators, uh, anyone's working in the condo. So not all the condos have the same kind of maintenance fee. And also you have to check how often is the maintenance fee is going up. Is it very much steady every year, adding a little bit, or just went through the roof and is a, is a crazy maintenance fee. And that's a burden for you if every month you have to pay. Also, the status certificate. Whenever you buy a condo, make sure you get the status certificate before you take over. Status certificate is a document that is provided by the management of your condo and in there you can find all the legal aspect of your condo such as if there is any lawsuit against the condo is there any budget uh, prepared for your condo is there any cost coming against it and uh, that's very important and that comes into the picture when you go to mortgage because many banks they do not want to deal with a condo that has uh, a very bad uh, reserve fund. Reserve fund is a fund that is there for the emergency situations. Number eight, walk through the, um, the condo inside and outside of the condo. Make sure it's well done. Uh, check different floors. See the condition of the carpet, for instance. Uh, if there is any broken windows that has been there for a long time. And uh, that would give you some ideas of what kind of condos you would live in there in the future. Number nine, home inspection. Some of the condos, almost the oldest one, they might require some home inspection. So the inspector would come before you take over, take a look at the condos, make sure everything is in good working condition and there are not surprise, no surprises there. All right. Number 10, uh, if there is any renovation has been done in the condo, just make sure they are they follow the code of building codes, and also uh, the renovation is done uh, with acknowledgement of the uh, the office. There is everything is based on the code accepted for that building as well, such as laminate floor or the kitchen um, things that is renovated uh, in the condo unit. Number 11, the history of the condo. Make sure you check the history of the unit, how many times it was in the market, anything happens, any stigma attached to the unit. Uh, also, the building. Is the buildings 
uh, transactions happening all the times or is happening once a year and what is the reason for that um, and lastly number 12 the location of your condo is it a good location is it in a very very busy neighborhood do you want to live in a busy neighborhood is it close to the highway do you need to be uh, close to highway is it close to school all of this comes into the effect when you want to buy a condo if there is anything I can help you with just give me a quick call at 647 407 4049. This is again Ashton with DreamX. All the best.